Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna do a basic primer on forms and how they actually work in AppSheet so you can get something more out of it other than basic fields from your data structure. I'll show you how you can actually create different pages for your forms, page headers, section headers, instruction sections, even adding in animated GIFs, videos, or URLs into your form itself, and how to change the fields to add more descriptive text for the form itself without actually influencing the, the field header and changing how the field header displays in the rest of the application. So let's go ahead and jump into it. We're gonna start with the blank app here, just so we can build this out from scratch. In your main table, you're gonna to want to um, put in the, the column headers that you're looking to capture from your users, right? So you'll need an ID, obviously, for each entry, and then you can put in all the fields you wanna capture. So in this case, we have, we're just gonna capture some basic info about a person, such as their name, their hair color, city born, and then the other ones will be basically a second page or a second tab to capture their favorite favorites that they would like to share. And we're gonna go ahead and turn this into an application. So once we're inside the, the editor, we're gonna go ahead and create a form view just so we can see what we're, what we're looking at as far as our form goes. I'm gonna go ahead and make this a little bit bigger. So you can see here that this form right now, it's not very intuitive and you know, we're showing some things we don't want to see here. So first, we'll start to remove the fields from the form that we don't want to show. To lay out your column order in a specific way, we're going to go down here in our view to column order and add, um, start adding fields here. And we're going to specifically outline the fields we want to include in our form. So now that we have our form selected, let's go ahead and we need to change some things around about more specifically our, our hair color and favorite color questions here. We don't want those to be color. Actually kind of picked up on the color piece, but we just want those to be text as well. Obviously, you can make this a drop down menu or you know any other type of columns you want to use. But in this case, we're just going to keep it simple. So the first thing we'll cover is how do we create a page header or just a header in general for? So what we're gonna do within our table view, we're gonna add a virtual column here. We'll call this uh, page one header. Then for the app formula, we're just gonna actually enter double quotes here and hit done. So this is the part that's not very intuitive within AppSheet. So we essentially create this new virtual column of unknown. And then after we close out of that window, we're gonna change it to a show, and then we're gonna go back into this window. And that's where we will see the different type categories here. So we have the category type, which because we're looking to do a page header, we'll choose that to be a page header. So show columns allow us to basically display information in a certain way. They're, they're fields that, kind of what the name implies, they're just meant to show information, not necessarily capture information. So whenever you use a show column, you have um, some, some different options available for your category. And uh, page header is one of them, section header, text, URL, image, and video are your options available for your show fields. So we're gonna be using those different types and those different categories available to actually create a better form than what would typically just be displayed if you just used your, your raw fields inside of your application. So because we're trying to make a page header, we're gonna give this category a page header. And then for content, we're gonna actually put our content in here. So this is where we could say, we could give this the name, you know, basically of what we want to display for the page header itself. We'll call this your um, characteristics. So we'll call it your characteristics as an example. And then um, we're also going to have a second page on this form because we want to split characteristics such as name, born, and hair color from favorites. So we're going to 
create a dividing line here between the two. So we're going to go ahead and create page two header. We'll call it as a virtual column. And we'll do the same cumbersome thing that we did before where we have to enter in double quotes, then change it to a show field, and then go down and choose page header. And then we're going to call this your favorites. So with these two added, we can now add, let's add another field here called instructions. This is going to be meant to be an instructional field where we just have information about what to expect from the form itself. And we're going to use text for this one. Say, we're just going to give this some generic welcome message. Welcome to the form. Please fill out this information as accurate as you can. We have a very generic message that we want to show in our form, and then we'll hit done. So I've added these three fields here, page one header, page two header, and instructions. And now I'm going to go ahead and go back to the view itself. So I'm going to use this quick hyperlink down below to go directly to the view settings. And I'm going to add these, two, these three virtual columns to my form now. So now I have page one, page two, and page three. And then I'm going to move this in the order that I want to basically split my form up into pages. So page one, I'm going to have at the top, because that's going to be the first page. And then page two, I'm going to want to start with the favorites. And then instructions, I'm going to include right after page one. So that's included on the first page. Now, at this time, because we haven't saved our app, you'll notice that we don't have anything really filling in um, as much. So we're going to go ahead and hit save. And now with that saved, you can see this form start to take shape. So now I only have my three fields that are supposed to be on page one showing for the user. And then after, at the bottom, then the user sees a next button instead of a save button. So they can go ahead and click next. And then they go to the second page, which is going to be your favorites. And then the, you'll finally see the save button at the end because that's the last page. So you see we're, with a couple virtual columns here of the show type, we've, we've already created a much more intuitive form for our users, something a little bit more visually pleasing compared to just empty fields in the application. Now with this setup, I can also then change the, the page style to take use of different layouts if I want to. So what you're viewing here is a simple page style where you don't really see how many field uh, forms or pages you have in total. You're, you're just basically given the guide to go to the next field. If you choose page count, then you'll see that there's a little indicator up at the top to show you how many pages you have in their form. And then with tabs, you can see how you can jump around to different fields. And this is a little bit more useful if you have a lot more pages that may not be mandatory in your form. You can provide some tabs for your users so they can go ahead and enter the, the values they want before actually hitting the save button at the end. And then moving down to form style, we could also, you know, we could also change the layout of the field names, right? So by default, you have you have the fields on top of each other, but you can also make them side by side. So it, you know, this ultimately depends on what you're capturing from the user and what's going to be more effective use of the form itself. And then you could also change the save and cancel position, even put it at the top of the screen or at the bottom of the screen. Another cool thing you could do with forms is actually input either an image, a GIF or video into your, your form to help explain something that without maybe needing a wall of text, something visually. So just like with our page header instructions, we can actually go ahead and create an image field, maybe called image instructions with our form. And we're going to call this a show column, but the show column will be of the type image now. So I'm just going to grab a random GIF from the 
uh, Giphy website just to show as an illustration, but we're just going to put the URL in the content for this show virtual column here. And then we're going to go to the form and we're going to add this virtual column, this image instruction field, and we're going to put this right after the instruction fields. So you can see what that looks like when we add that to our app and how you can imagine how this could be very useful for, for certain types of forms where some visual information in an animated way is going to be a lot more intuitive to communicate what you're trying to capture from uh, the users themselves. The next thing we'll cover is sections. I'm just going to do one section as an example, but these are basically subheaders um, in each of your pages that you can make. You can just simply set that as a section header and it's going to be a way for you to just break your, you know, each page down a little bit more, especially if you have a lot of different fields that you want to show to the users. It helps break things up to make things a little bit more concise. So I'm going to just make a field here called colors as an example here. That's going to be a section. So we have colors in there and then just like before, we're going to add that field to our that section to our our main uh, form in front of a, a hair color. So now with that section added, you can see how this kind of breaks things up into, you know, separates out fields. And then there's only a couple other ones, video, where you could embed any YouTube video into your form. It only works with YouTube videos right now and URL. Those are fairly straightforward. So, I'll, you know, you could imagine what those look like in the form between a link that's clickable and then a video that you can play inside of your form. So, so hopefully that helps in organize your different forms. Uh, the last couple things I want to cover is for each of the fields here, you can add more descriptive information for each field. You know, maybe city born, while it's great for a column field or a field name, maybe we want something that actually, you know, gives a little bit more information on what exactly I'm supposed to enter into this field. So I'm going to use city born as an example and go to that column attributes. And I'm going to go down under display and you'll see that there's this description field here. And this description field allows you to give a basically a separate field name just for forms itself. So this only shows in form views, whereas display name will show in the rest of your apps and detail views and, and your other um, deck views and card views, for example. But description will allow you to customize the form field look itself. So I can have much more long form questions that are a little bit more intuitive for someone filling out a form. So I could you know, basically put in for this example here, instead of saying city born, I could say, what city were you born in? And then I'll hit save on that. And now in my app, I can now see what that looks like, right? So I'm providing a little bit more context into each of these fields. So now if I go into a detail view, for example, I still have the field name simple if I'm looking at the rest of my app, but in the form itself, I have that more detailed description. And then the last thing is what I've been showing here as we develop this is in the mobile, either a mobile view of the app or the tablet view. And we don't want to forget that there's also a new desktop mode that you can use for your forms. If you know your users are going to be mainly using a desktop or a browser to fill out the forms. And now you can see that these, these forms will look a little different when you open them in a full screen on your browser. You have more information about your different pages that you have up in the top if you're using your your page style layout here and you have your next buttons up here at the top of the screen and then we can also change around and experiment with the different layouts as well so in, let's we could take a look at tab and see what tabs look like in the new desktop layout and you can see tabs look like this or if you go back to something simple then we will see any tabs up at the top and we'll basically have our navigation 
through the different pages up here in the top right corner. So I personally like the page count a little bit better as far as the layout goes. It's a little bit more intuitive for people filling out multiple pages if you have that. So with that, hopefully that was a good introduction to learning forms inside of AppSheet. Once you understand how AppSheet uses the show columns to display information in a form, it's, it's a lot more straightforward. And once again, if you like this video, please click that like button there and subscribe as well to the channel. If you have any questions, you can just place them down in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them or even make a video uh, directly answering your questions. Thanks everybody again. Have a good one.